It's music time in Africa. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Music Time in Africa. I'm Heather Maxwell, and today we have Jabali Africa with us. Welcome, everybody. Jambo. Jambo. Karibu. Asante. <laughs> oh, it's so great to have you in the studio today. Uh, Josek, the leader of the band, I'd like to say hello to you and have you say hi and introduce yourselves, and maybe we'll just go right down the line. Uh, my name is Josek Asikoye. I play the drums and the percussions and the sing. My name is Tanaj. I play the guitar, the percussions, and I sing. Justo Asikoye. I play drums, guitar, dance, jump up. <laughs> Jaja Bashingezi, uh, I play bass and percussion and I sing as well. Do you jump up and down too? I do too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's just really exciting to see all of these drums and the guitars and everything. So, can we just start out with some music? Yes, we can. What, what are you going to do for us? Uh, we're going to do a song called Aoko. Aoko is the name of a girl. Mm hmm. It's a song, basically, I was making fun of my mom. My mom's middle name is Aoko. Mm -hmm. And uh, she always told me about the kind of woman she'd bring home. Mm -hmm. You know, So I said, I turned it into a song. It was more of a love song. But basically, I used her, her name in the middle. So it was kind of funny and intriguing. When my mom heard the song, it became so huge in East Africa. So... That's a song going to do to you. So it's a love song. Yes, a love song. Mm -hmm. All Basically, right. it's talking about I've traveled the world. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a woman like Aoko. Oh, beautiful. Panda milima na mabonde Nimepita misi tunanyika kao kelea Kwenye mito na bahari Aoko, aoko, aoko Nimekuta na vipusa Wenye njiso zinazonga Wenye meno maziwa Wenye macho ololi Wenye mwanya mudomoni Aoko, aoko, aoko Tembea sija muona musicha kama oko Aoko Nimetembea sija muona musicha kama oko Uko wapi wewe Nimetembea sija muona musicha kama oko Aoko Nimetembea sija muona musicha kama oko Sisiki, sura yangu ya tabasamu Roho na wea idundi Bali uruka ruka Aoko, 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 aoko Omwana mere, omwana maye Shimpenzi omwana shindu kutsua Omwana swege, omwana yonide Aoko, aoko, nimetembe
Bravo, bravo. This is Jabali Africa, everybody. A music time in Africa. Asante. Karibu. Oh. Wow, I'm learning a little Kiswahili too. That's true. You know, this is gorgeous. I, w- I did not want you to stop dancing. Uh, st- I was dancing. I didn't want you to stop playing. I can see how people would love to have you at their party. <laughs> really. Can you play for like hours and hours? Yes, that's what African music is all about. Yeah. You just go and go. You just go music and go. Music is life. That is just beautiful. So how long have you guys been playing together? Yeah, we've been playing together for, actually, Jabali Africa has been in existence for 21 years, right? Yeah. 21 years. That's a lot. That's a long yeah. time. Yeah, it's a long time. You know, so we've been playing together. And with these brothers, uh, we've been playing with Tanash for the, la- uh, the last 11 years. Mm-hmm. You know, in music, you link up, you know, uh, in our travels. Um, when we started, actually, we were, we were more people. Mm-hmm. But original, the f- original foundation was Josek and Marcel. And you. Mm-hmm. Yes. 21 years ago. 21 years ago. Man. Actually, he's my brother. He's my younger brother. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm the baby. You're the baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. man. I love it. So in the middle of that song, that was Adwa? What was the name Aoko. of that song? Awoko. Awoko. Mm-hmm. Awoko. Mm-hmm. You broke it down into some percussion. That really is normally probably an extended period of time where people dance and party. Yes. yes. Do you sometimes get up and dance yourselves? Yes. yes. Wow. Everybody gets in. Man. Yeah. I love it. So um, tell me something else. Tell me about your tour, your most recent tour. Um, what uh, we, our tour, usually we tour a lot in the U.S., especially the college market. Oh. And uh, in the summer we do festivals. Uh, we are actually scheduled to do some festivals this summer. We have, um, apart from the Smithsonian Folklife Festival that's coming up, we have a festival in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Michigan! Yeah. That's my home and then we have state. A, yes, and then we have another festival coming up. Uh, it's a Mid-Ohio Valley Festival, mm-hmm. multicultural festival. That's uh, around June. But uh, we've been touring all over, uh, just spreading the good music of Africa. But apart from that, we are also cultural ambassadors of Africa. As you know, usually the media here sometimes uh, portrays Africa in a certain way. So a lot of people sometimes don't know the other side of Africa Mm. because the only thing that makes the news is disaster. So we are also trying to represent a, a side of Africa that, hey, it's not only this that happens in Africa. That's a very small fraction. But there's a side of Africa that you can also learn something about what we do. That's so important. Mm-hmm. And that's such a beautiful <coughs> aspect of Africa, the music and mm-hmm. dance and yeah. and openness of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's terrific. Mm-hmm. Well, how about if we just kick into another tune? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Okay, this tune, we call it Percussion Discussion. Percussion Discussion. Yes, it's in our Roots Guns album. So it's Percussion Discussing. You know, talking no, no, to each vo- other. no voice at all. No voices, just percussion instrumental. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jabali Africa, everybody.
Shabali Africa. Man, that's percussion discussion. Now I know. Yes. Now I know what you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> that is incredible. So, um, um, Jos uh, Justo is the lead percussionist on this one. And then his baby brother, Josek on drums, <laughs> and then Tanash on conga, and then Jaja. Jaja on cowbell. Interesting cowbell playing. Yes. I also noticed with your bass playing, Jaja, in the last song, when the percussion part happens, parts happen in the song, you basically just use your bass like a, it sounds like a bass drum. Exactly, exactly. In fact, yeah. I was looking around going, where's, <laughs> where's the bass drum? Um, but on this one, you were doing something cool no, with the, no, no, with no, the thank cowbell. You, thank you, yes. I have a question about this. How do you organize that piece? How do you organize it? Okay, um, this piece, actually what we do is broken into four segments, right? Um, all these segments, first, we create the rhythm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then, um, it's been evolving though. It's been evolving over the years as you play. Uh -huh. This piece itself is 20 years old. Basically, one year after you got together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's 20 years old. It's been evolving over and over. The more you play instruments, of course, you become good. You know, you become better. Mm -hmm. But um, it's first we have all those uh, segments, and then we time it, depending with, with how it is. We can mm -hmm. go until tomorrow. But you see, with percussion, music is like food for the soul. Mm -hmm. So once your soul is satisfied, you go to the next page. You understand? I and do. then you go to the next one again. Flavor it again, you know. So it's kind of a buffet. Of I'll say, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a wonderful yeah. way of putting it, a buffet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about the, the signals? What Do you have specific signals that you, you you're, you're, are you leading? the? Yeah. What are the clues? Can you play one or two? Yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. like one. Can we hear that? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay, so that's the cue. Yeah. Now, is that that's the primary cue that you give? Yeah, that's basically we carry. It, that's the the, well, the 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 part that breaks every every section. Mm -hmm. But uh, mostly, it's a lot of improvisation. Is the way you feel that day. So we, this piece is never played the same way. I see. It's only we just meet at the joints, but during all those places, the other parts. It's just the way you get inspired to do. And how you get inspired by what's going on around you, probably, Yes, right? like you see, Justo yeah. will... Or your mood. Yeah, the bi vibration. You know, every every performance is different. Mm -hmm. So you get moved with with the response that you're getting, too. Because mm -hmm. the audience, too, sometimes feeds you the energy. Mm -hmm. So we get the energy, and then we send it back. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Well... That one more question about that cue. Is it from traditional Kenyan music or did you just create that yourselves? Okay. The techniques yeah. that we're playing, they're all based on traditional music. Mm -hmm. But the piece itself, we created it from the ingredient. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. From all those techniques we created that. So you know. it's, it's yours, yeah. but it's, yeah, it's also ours, traditional. but if you hear if you're from Africa, you hear the techniques that we are, we are using mm -hmm. is actually African. Yeah. Speaking of that, what about the drums? These are, I've never seen drums like these before. Yes. They're really unusual and they're beautiful and they sound great. Can you tell us, tell me about those? Yes. Uh, these drums, they're only found in Kenya. Only in Kenya. But the coastal part of Kenya. Couldn't, yeah, the coastal part of Kenya. They're called Mabubumbu. Mabubumbu is a, is a plural, but the scene singular is Bubumbu. Just the way they sound. You see? Mm. There's yeah. three of them. Yeah, three of them. There's some people, uh, the Mijikenda people play them, even ten. Oh. But they play them while that way, you know, leaning sideways. Oh, I see. So the guy bends a little bit playing them. But they, they play it forward. Yes, mm -hmm. forward and going, you know. And the, there's a dance actually called Mabubumbu. Oh. Yeah, but the way we, we, we came uh, to incorporate them is uh, through our music, is from the sound. You know, and the way we play them too, sometimes we play them 
differently mm -hmm. the way the way the way we we we, we came up mm -hmm. you know with, with our sound mabubumbu is that like the different tones of the yes. drums oh my Ma gosh mabubumbu yeah I so. love that. <laughs> That's just yeah, are so there are there more than three or is yeah, it just actually three? these ones they're more, normally normally I'm comfortable playing three or four mm -hmm. because of space sometimes you know to get the tone that we want, mm -hmm. but because it's not only because the the dance itself mabubumbu it incorporates a lot of percussion, so you find like the percussion themselves they're singing, but right now we have the vocals which we sing in our music. We've tried to omit some of them, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of arrangement and all that. That's incredible. Yeah, and they're only found in Kenya. Only at the coast. found in Kenya. Only in Kenya at the coast. Malindi, the coastal part of Kenya, you find them. Malindi? Yeah, Lamu. Mm -hmm. Mombasa. Yeah, yeah Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Maybe in Tanzania, but I've never heard any. Is Tanzania. that where you grew up? Actually, us guys, we grew up in Nairobi. Okay. We were born in Nairobi City, but uh, through interest, I that's see. when we came to play this. You so, heard those and you said yes. where, and you yes. went there? Yes, because initially, we, yeah, when we started, we we used to dance we used to be in a dance troupe but we used to have a music department section mm -hmm. so we were doing kind of both yeah i read that you on your website that you you were originally with the kenya national yes. was it dance ensemble yes it was a kenya national theater dance troupe and basically what the kenya national theater did was preserve the music and the culture of kenya mm -hmm. but we wanted to be creative artists with music we wanted to create new songs not just play the same traditional stuff they used to play. Right. This is Josek, by the way, for our listeners who don't know who's speaking. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we decided to like uh, branch out and compose songs the same way people use guitars and pianos. We decided to use the same instruments that our forefathers used. You know. So that's how that's how we are in touch with the music of Kenya because we were the Kenya National Theatre Dance Troupe, which is a, an institution that preserves the culture of the country. So you're doing it now just private, as, as private, Yes. a private group. Yes. But, but you're, it's the same mission in a way, isn't it? We got fired, actually, because... You we got were, fired? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So after we got fired, after we got fired, they wanted us to... We were freelancers at that time. Mm -hmm. But now they wanted guys to be permanent for the Kenya National Theatre. So and since we are freelancers... By playing with everybody in town, mm -hmm. we decided to just form our own group, you know, and uh, just concentrate with the music we were doing. Because when we created the music department of the, f mostly Kenya National Theatre Dance Troupe, they were doing a lot of dance. Mm -hmm. So we decided to make the music, to make a band out of the music. I see. You know? So when we created the band, it brought a lot of a conflict of interest, and then we got fired. Oh. And uh, we didn't have anywhere to rehearse. There was a big rock that was outside the Kenya National Theatre. Mm -hmm. So that's where we used to strategize our next moves. <laughs> and that's where our name came from, Jabali, Africa, from that rock that was right there outside the Kenya National Theatre. That's so, beautiful. So it's a literal, named after a literal rock, yeah, but it's that, also a symbolic meaning at yeah, the exactly. same time. Yeah, exactly. It's a symbol because the rock also is a foundation of something. Tradition, basically. Yeah, exactly. So we decided to call ourselves the Rock of Africa. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. So uh, how are you feeling? We've got the drums and the djembe. That yes. djembe is... Actually, this one is a factory djembe. <laughs> but the reason why we, we're using this is for tuning purposes and, and all that. When it comes to winter, sometimes our drums don't behave very well. <laughs> so they don't do well with the, uh, with, with the weather. Yes. So we got this for the sake of the sound. But I would prefer to play the African djembe because there's a little bit missing from... You think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's something missing mm -hmm. in terms of precision. Because this one is ringing too much. You hear that ringing? Oh, yeah, I do. We don't want that. And that's why Interesting. You, yeah, you see. You I put, put tape on yeah, it. Yeah, put tape to try and mute that. Oh. Yeah. For a, a djembe that speaks and all that giving cues, you need to be A little precise. drier. Yeah. And you also have that smaller um, uh, aluminum metal drum. Yeah. What is we, this one? This one is, uh, actually, this one, we have other djembes, but again, it, it goes the same case. This one is a higher pitch for those uh, if you want to highlight this other. Because this, this drum speaks a lot. Yes, I it's hear. It's small, but, uh, but we use it for cue purposes too. Mm -hmm. And to turn on a different page of sound. Yeah. Yeah. Turn yeah. on that different page of sound. Yes. <laughs> yes. You've got some good metaphors. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I well, guess. I would like to hear another one. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. This one, we, uh, I think uh, we call this one Jerere. Jerere? Yeah, and Jerere means the arrival. It's a, a story, I think Justo will explain that story very well because he's the one who wrote the song. Yes, um, this song is called Jerere. Mm -hmm. Jerere means arrival in my language, which is uh, Luya from Western Kenya. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, this one is a story actually of my dad. Because back home there you find like um, um, uh, city dwellers. Us guys were born in the city, of course. But we had other ancestral homes which where my father and my mother were born and where they came from, where I come from, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's a story of land dispute. Because this one we had a family meeting one time. My father was telling me, uh, oh, this and that, this and that. And one of the relatives, you know, sometimes when you are away from from up country, they tend to try steal, oh. steal some of your land. They keep on pushing I the vehicles. See. Inch by inch, kind yeah, of. inch by inch. Oh. Yeah, so that's how the song came up, you know. And uh, they try to take advantage of my father because he's a he's a minister, you know, he's a pastor. But uh, when he came up, he was when 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 he hosted a meeting with us. He told us, actually, you guys sing sing about that. You know, this story, sing about it, and I came to find out is a common thing, uh, especially in Africa, where people, you find other people that uh, migrated back to the city, mm -hmm. but when they go back, they find like those country folks, they try to steal some of the land, and it's all relatives, you know, but uh, eventually we got the peace back, and uh, Good. that's how it came mm -hmm. about. Maybe because of your song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the power of music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
to behold us in Duta way, Ninja Sabuchi, so water, Amatu, Komlo Sini Saba, Okwemi Humbo, Quiji Ingo Putaiwa, Quiji Vane. Everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. That was just amazing. Thank you so much. So uh, I think it's about the time to say goodbye, wow. unfortunately. I know we're just getting started, wow. right? <laughs> oh, wait. Um, Josek, uh, I would like to ask you if you guy, you or any of the band would like to say anything, especially to our listeners in Africa, if you have any message or anything you want or, or not. Uh, what I'll say to the listeners in Africa is like, uh, we have a great continent, we have uh, great people, you know, and uh, my message to Africa is basically, we got to take care of our own continent, you know, let's not let our continent go down the drain because of bad politics, you know, and uh, if you also go back to like into the album, that the, our latest album, we did Which one is that? That's the Rebellion, 1963, to the future, the gray one. So the album basically where well, was an album we basically dedicated to Africa, and uh, it's based, it has a lot of conscious music. Some of the songs there were banned on radio, but uh, we're still trying, it's not about, we are not being on us, uh, any side, we're just trying to educate our people about good leadership. You know? Okay. So my message to the people is like, we have a beautiful continent and let's take care of our continent. Let's not let, let bad politics ruin our, our continent. Africa unite. That's your, mes that's your message, yes. Justo. Yes. Bass player. Uh, ja, ja. Music is part of our culture and um, that's what we do have in Africa and we should not lose it. We're in America, but we're sticking on to the root of whatever we're playing right now. It's tough from home, and um, it carries a spirit, a positive spirit, and we should not forget about that. Nice. And we should be proud to be 
Africans and playing African music. Tenash? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just wish that we unite in Africa. If we unite, there will not be no Muslim, no terrorists, no hunger. If only we can unite. That's just what I wish for Africa. Thank you so much, Jabali Africa. You're welcome. Thank you very much for having us, Heather. We really appreciate it.